This is a Coachman Chaparral MBRB 373 MBRB awning, LED awning lights, plenty of underbelly storage. Also an outdoor refrigerator, pull-out grill and TV in that plum pop-up section there, flip-up section. Also has a generator Onan in this compartment right there, which uh, you can see in the pictures later on. And let's go inside. Let's start with the master bedroom in the back up the stairs. Queen size bed that flips up for storage. Plenty of overhead storage as well. Full closet. Hey! Plenty of deep drawers. Drawer into the closet as well. Side storage here. USB chargers there. A couple lights underneath there as well. You can access the master bathroom. This unit does have two bathrooms this way. Nice size shower, upgraded shower head from the standard one that it comes to, or it comes with rather, excuse me. Nice storage here. You've got a porcelain sink in this bathroom. See the floors are the same all throughout. There's um, hard flooring or vinyl flooring, I guess you could call it, throughout um, carpets in that bedroom only and where the slides are. Your toilet. All your controls. It also has a Wi-Fi booster. Um, you can use it to boost the signal wherever you are. Or you can also add a card from, I believe it's T-Mobile or Verizon. Coming back down the stairs across from the door where we walked in. This is my favorite feature. You have an extra bedroom slash office space slash uh, nursery, which is what we ended up using it for, um, which is the only reason we're selling this unit. We need a little bit more room now that we have a Surprise one-year-old. We also have an electric dryer in here. You can put it anywhere in the unit. We decided to put it here. It's where it fit best. We also, when this was an office before we had a baby, um, we put the printer on top of the dryer. The futon flips up. Um, we initially had it on a platform, which we removed only because it was easier when the baby came and we had the pack and play in here but you could put the futon on a platinum you could also put the futon back on the legs we have it off the legs right now because it was just easier that way too um you could sit it up as a regular couch part or you could leave it like this you could also add a bunk on top if you wanted to it's definitely uh sturdy enough for that again we removed it because we wanted it as an office space but the mattresses are still in the unit underneath the master bed actually so it wouldn't take much if you wanted to put um, the bunk back up with the lower bed or the bunk with the futon um, that we have in here and again there's plenty of storage in this room I don't even use all the storage in here believe it or not all right so returning again from the door we walked in you have a really good size kitchen living area Nice dinette. I prefer this over the booth. I just think it feels a little bit more homey. Um, if you needed extra sleeping, I don't know why you would, but if you did, you could always take the dinette set out and put a futon or a fold-out couch, jackknife couch there. The storage up there, we use that for all the office stuff. You can see a nice big window. Nice shades. Decent uh, decor decorative touches, I guess you could say, with the black matte lighting and stuff oven has never been used stove has rarely been used rarely excuse me been used microwave hi again again tons of storage nice double sink oops that wasn't a very good shot but you get the idea more cabinets down below with pullouts those both pull out And this is, you know, your under sink storage. I added a couple extra hooks to make life easier. Huge fan of command strips. Another one there. Again, the microwave, oven, stove. I love this fridge. I love this fridge more than the fridge that I have in my house. Nice armoire, 
uh, doors on top. You want that locked when you're moving. Um, double freezer drawers, those are locked, so I'm not going to pull them out right now, but nice stainless steel. Again, I like it more than the one in my house. We added this little doohickey. We used to just slide the trash right underneath. That was nice for extra storage. We also have two, two TV trays that we use. Um, when we're sitting on the recliners, they both pull out, and they also have massage. They light up. They light up in there and underneath with the blue LED and they have two heat settings. Um, the massage setting is two as well. And then this, I'll flip it this way. Nice for ambiance and actually throws a decent amount of heat. Um, a lot of times just to take the chill out if the morning was cool or the night was cool. We'll flip that on real quick. Huge TV. I'm not really sure why the TV is so huge in this unit, but it is huge. Again, there's your dinette. So nice, nice space in general. Again, the floors are the vinyl. Oh, that's right. There was more carpet under the dinette because that's where the slide is. This unit has five slides. And then this is another lovely feature because in addition to our one-year-old, we have an 18-year-old. So he had his own living room slash bedroom in here. This is a jackknife couch. Pulls out to, I believe, a full um, or folds out, I guess you could say, not pulls out. Plenty of storage up top. Lots of windows back here. He actually has the best view where we stay. Um, this is our house, but where we stay is right on the water. And his room has all the palm trees in the water, usually. More storage up top. A mount for a TV. Plenty of drawers there. And they um, you can access the top two drawers when the bed is pulled out. Obviously, you can't um, access the bottom ones, but if you wanted to leave the bed pulled out for some reason, just didn't feel like making it because you're on vacation, you could. We added that, and those just fold right down. That was great for extra storage. He would have his you know, whole gaming set up in here and a chair he would bring in, and he was living large. And he has his own, not just a half bath, but a full bath, as well as his own entrance slash exit. Some hooks on the wall full bath complete with shower and a little tub that you could actually put you know a toddler in if you had to do that um, we have the washer in there it is so light it just pulls right out we just have it in there because it's easier to drain it um, in there I love this little washing machine so much I use it all the time it actually does a great job and then I would take that extra pole hang it up in the shower to hang the clothes to get a little air dry time and then just pop them in the electric dryer i even did um sheets so it was great sheets and towels worked out well and like i said that comes out super easy super light like i can lift it in and out no problem the, the dryer is really light too um you could pop it outside if you wanted to if you needed this shower or this bathtub um, or you could even slide it right in this room all sliding and pocket doors obviously for space reasons and there you have it um I'll, uh, probably have to upload this in different segments because it's a little long and i will try to go grab a picture of what the outside refrigerator pull out grill and tv area looks like i don't know if i can access it where we are parked right now but i will try but if it's missing that is why um Maybe I can try to add a stock photo or whatnot. But we've thoroughly enjoyed this. I'm sad to see it go. I'm really sad to see it go. Um, but it doesn't suit our needs anymore with a one-year-old in tow. So I hope you love it as much as we have. I've taken, you know, really good care of it because I love it so much. And uh, come take a look.